Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite vegan documentaries. Veganism is something I'm very passionate about, and I think these documentaries I'm about to mention are very insightful, inspirational. I think they're very eye-opening, and I think that these documentaries are something that a lot of people should see. There are three big main reasons why people choose to go vegan, and that is health, ethics, and environmental. My big thing is the ethics, so I'm going to be talking a little bit more about documentaries on the ethical side, but I will be talking about documentaries in each of those three categories. So yep, let's get started. The first one is Forks Over Knives. This was one of the first vegan documentaries I had ever watched and it is one of my favorites. This documentary focuses on the health aspects of veganism and how by following a plant-based diet you can reverse and even eliminate diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and it has insights from Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn and T. Colin Campbell. And it's a very insightful documentary and a very in-depth look at the plant-based diet and your health. A lot of people don't realize the damaging impact that meat and dairy and all that has on your health and this documentary kind of exposes that and it's really an eye-opener. Next one is called Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. This one I have seen multiple times. I like it. I just think it's really inspirational. It's about a man named Joe Cross and in the beginning it kind of talks about like all his health issues. His biggest one is him being overweight and he decides to do a 60 day juice fast where he only he just drinks nothing but juice for 60 days and you watch him lose weight and get off of all his medications and you you're watching him restore back to health through you know plant foods fruits and vegetables and you see him traveling and through his travels he inspires other people and then you start following other people's journeys and watch them lose weight and them get restored back to health and it's just it just really shows the power of plant foods. The next one is What the Health. You probably have heard of it. It was a really big thing in 2018 when it came out and everybody was talking about it. Meat and dairy is so heavily linked to chronic diseases and breast cancer and so many other different types of cancer and diabetes and heart disease. But yet most of the nation's leading health organizations promote eating meat and dairy and animal products and it's like they're basically promoting the things that's harming you if that makes sense and it just shows you how much is funded by the meat and dairy industry he's trying to interview these health organizations and they don't want to talk about it because they don't want the truth exposed and it's just one of those things that's just really kind of interesting now starting to get a little bit into the ethical side of veganism um one of my favorites is the cove before watching the cove i didn't really know that people slaughtered dolphins. I know that might be weird, but I didn't know that people ate dolphins. I didn't know that like, that was like a thing. And I just think that one's a good one to watch, especially for people that say fish don't have feelings. This one really, really, really gets me. It, it This documentary is probably the hardest ones I've ever watched. And this is one of the most heartbreaking things I had ever seen. This documentary is called Dominion. You've probably heard of it. It's a very in-depth, graphic look at the ways animals are tortured. Pretty much all aspects of animal cruelty. For killing for food, clothing, entertainment, animal testing. It looks at a wide spectrum of species, dogs, cats, rabbits, mice, pigs, cows. I mean, it's it's a it it talks about a lot of different animals. My boyfriend and I, we watched it and we had to keep pausing. I mean, we had to keep taking breaks. I just I think it's something that everybody should see whether you have intentions of being vegan or not. That's just, I just think everybody needs to see that one. The next one is called Blackfish. Blackfish centers a killer whale called Tilikum. Um, he was held captive at SeaWorld. Blackfish kind of looks at Tilikum's life and kind of what led to his attacks. Next time you take your trip to SeaWorld, <laughs> Watch that documentary and see if you still want to support them or not. The next one I really like is called Tyke Elephant Outlaw. Tyke is a circus elephant that went on a major rampage in 1994 in Honolulu, Hawaii. And he escaped a circus, killed one of his trainers, and it. the documentary focuses on, from the 
basically his whole life starts from the beginning of his life his life in the circus and kind of like what led to that day like what led to the attack and it's just a very sad behind the scenes look at what life in a circus is like for these animals. Earthlings is another documentary that I highly recommend you watch. It exposes the suffering endured by animals through drones and hidden footage. It goes from research labs to puppy mills and factory farming. That one's very sad to watch. And it's one of those things is if you were going to continue eating meat and dairy and buying products tested on animals, it's like you need to see what you're doing, you need to see what you're supporting, and I'm so glad there's people that go through the trouble to film this stuff to expose it so we're not ignorant anymore. We know what's going on, we know what's happening, we know what we're supporting, and we have the power to stop it. Cowspiracy is the last documentary I'm going to talk about. It focuses on the environmental aspects of veganism and the impacts that animal agriculture has on our environment, how it leads to deforestation and water pollution, biodiversity loss, coral reef degeneration, climate change, and it's just a really eye-opening documentary. So many people talk about the health aspects of veganism and the ethical side of veganism, but not a lot of people talk about the environmental aspects of veganism. So I don't think very many people understand how damaging meat and dairy consumption is to our planet. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will be leaving the links to these documentaries down in the description below. Some of them are on YouTube. You have to pay for them. Some of them are free on YouTube. Um, some of them are on Netflix. Um, but yeah, I think you guys should check them out. There is a fly in here. People say ignorance is bliss and ignorance is not bliss. We need to be open. We need to know what we're supporting. We need to know what's going on around us and what we're contributing to. And we need to decide for ourselves whether we're going to keep contributing to it or not. And the first step is education. We have to be educating each other. And I think that these nine documentaries are very eye-opening and inspiring. And I think you guys could benefit from. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.